The saga at the Midland ISD school bond election is finally over. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 24 News. First at 9, I'm Monica Quintero. The fate of this bond has flipped three times. Fox 24's Jian Kim had a chance to hear from multiple sources today. She joins us now live in studio with more. Well, good evening, Monica. As of this afternoon, the official order signed by a judge has been returned to Midland officials. Now, this signature legitimizes and finalizes last week's recount. The bond fails by 26 votes. After recount, several court orders, and ultimately the election contest, the road of the Midland ISD school bond has reached its dead end. I think everybody is extremely relieved to finally be past that. All three parties involved with the contest entered an agreed motion asking Judge Mackie K. Hancock to confirm that the result following the count of the mystery box is accurate. Midland County officials received that signed order Friday afternoon. The judge is now certifying the result of this recount that was done through the uh, election contest. And as, a, and as a result of this, the bond loses by, I believe, it's 26 votes. Mom says county employees have taken the initiative to make sure this never happens again. New procedures will include cracking down on chain of custody forms and unifying the colors of all ballot boxes and official seals. I hope that the voters can see the hard work that went into it and know that there were some mistakes that shouldn't have been made, uh, and this will never happen again. MISD School Board President Rick Davis says while he's disappointed in the outcome, he's also encouraged by the number of people who recognize the importance of this bond. He said in part, quote, Midland is a can-do community. I am optimistic that we will be successful in formulating a new proposal that will provide much-needed benefits to our students, teachers, and our community's future. Now, we have also reached out to the We Choose Our Future Committee, who were in support of this bond. Now, they tell me the funds that were raised during this election will remain in their account until it's ready to be put towards a new school bond. Live in studio, I'm Jian Kim, Fox 24 News.